Welcome back to Locked In, my style locked group Iron Man adventure. In the last video, we reached 100 quest points, completed Underground Pass, and unlocked the Ibn Staff, which has a really fun special attack. In this video, let's push towards 125 quest points and work towards completing Monkey Madness, which is both an absolutely iconic quest and a quest that rewards 110,000 combat experience. When figuring out what quests to do, there are a lot of different things you can do, but for me, I like to take sub-quests that I know I'm gonna need to complete later on anyway, and then I prioritize those, and then that way everything I'm doing fits together. One thing I've done that helped me out a lot with that is I made a little progression guide that I've linked in the description down below. It gives you a suggested order of quests that you absolutely do not need to follow, but I found it really helpful to work my way down a specific list one thing at a time. In the plan for today though, as we get ourselves closer to 125 quest points, I also want to make sure that I do the Beneath Cursed Tides quest, because this quest allows you to unlock the giant oyster monthly D&D, and the last day of October is today. If I can get this done before reset, it's actually going to give me one additional completion on this D&D that I otherwise wouldn't be able to do. So why don't we focus on that? It's got a bunch of requirements for level 30s in different skills, so we're going to be focusing on quests that give me experience in the skills that I have that aren't level 30. And then that way we can do Beneath Cursed Tides before reset and also get closer to 125 quest points for Monkey Madness. After we finish questing up a storm, I also want to reach level 60 magic so that we can unlock the Guthic Staff. It's a weapon we'll be using a lot in this series that has a high damaging special attack that also lowers the defense of your enemies, so especially if we're trying to punch above our weight class, this thing is going to be essential. Just like in the last episode, we're going to continue the death forfeits. This time around, the next player to die has to gather 12 magic logs and donate them to the group storage. 12 magic logs are required to complete the desert treasure quest, and considering nobody has the woodcutting level to chop a magic tree, they're pretty annoying to get. Before we get started, as a punishment for dying at the very end of the last episode, Bunny Bob had to complete the broken home quest without a guide, which she was able to do easily. We did a chat in, let's see, about 120 minutes. I just, I can't wait to run around with the Chaotic Staff. It's gonna be freaking awesome. That is 38 Dungeoneering. Bang. That is level 41 Prayer. Thanks, Nemi Forest. That is 33 Farming. Okay, so that's Nemi Forest done. Next up, Beehives. I think we should pop Wisdom for this, actually. Wisdom is an aura you can activate for an extra 2.5% XP. And I don't think I've done this since yesterday. So, shout out to Beehives for an absolute ton of levels. And that is the Let Them Eat Pie quest complete huge day. I think that might be the first quest we've completed without a single level up. Then again, it is kind of an early game quest. We did it later than we should have. Uh, we did get expensive spices though. Pretty cool. We're going to keep these in our invent probably for the next month on the account. It just makes every food heal an extra 50. So it's actually pretty good. So instead of 625 for the salmon, it'll actually heal 675. Let's go do the eyes of glow free. Glow free? Glow free. So this quest, one of the interesting things is we actually need a ground mud rune. You might be thinking, how are you going to get a mud rune? There is one singular good way to get a ground mud rune. It is actually going to the dwarven mine and killing the living rock patriarch that is a boss that only spawns like really, really rarely in the dwarven mine. Okay, Ivan Blast actually carrying me right now. Good stuff. We've gone and done it. Everything's fine. All right, 50 mud runes. 50 blood reads. Kind of insane, to be honest. Also really nice, because it means everyone in my group can also have mud runes. Although, dude, look at the... I bet I'm actually so strong comparatively. Compared to where we were just a, a short two days ago when I made the account. Kind of cracked. That is 51 magic coming in. Oh, I remember this quest. Isn't this the ancient quest with all the shapes? Wait, this is going crazy. The 4-3 aspect ratio, that's when you know it's going to be a good cutscene. Wait, I love that the Halloween stuff has made it into this cutscene somehow. Oh, look at that! Look at the moves! You see them? Do you know how disrespected I would feel if we were lined up for battle and they started shaking it like that? Oh, awkward. <laughs> I don't know what to click on. Oh, I have to click this tiny little square. Is one of the quests that makes you despise questing? What, you guys aren't having fun? No, 38. Okay, we've all, we've all, we've all. This should be it. Big day. Woo, let's go! That is the eyes of glow, glow, glow free, glowfer, glowfer. Quest complete, two quest points, 12k magic XP. Most importantly though, I'm in it for the woodcutting XP. We need 30 woodcutting. That is very helpful. It gets me all the way to 28 and actually about to be level 29. Awesome stuff. Also 52 magic en route to 60. Soon as we get to 60, we get a Guthic staff. So that's super, super helpful. I'll take 14 fire making though. You know, that's, that's a big day. All right, team, uh, we are going to do an absolutely iconic quest. Elemental Workshop Part 1. That is 39 mining coming in. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm just getting coal for a quest. And that is... 
Elemental Workshop, quest complete. Okay, that is an insanely efficient quest. And we are now 37 crafting, 34 smithing, 34 smithing, not terribly useful for anything. But we needed 36 crafting for the Enlightened Journey quest. That's 15 fire making. Yeah, this will not take very much time. Actually, little efficiency tip, but it's actually better to train fire making. If you've done the Violet is Blue and Violet is Blue 2 quests, uh, you actually go through this portal and it counts as a bonfire that other players are upkeeping. And the way that it works for bonfiring is you get extra XP the more people that are on it. So this will count as a permanent maxed bonfire. But yeah, see how I'm instead of getting 49 experience, I'm getting 52. Doesn't feel like much, but it makes a difference. All right, that's 25 making, which means we can now begin the Enlightened Journey quest. Assuming this is a full-blown willow tree, we cannot continue this quest until the willow tree is grown. So we're gonna come back later today, I guess. And then whenever this is grown, we're gonna continue the Enlightened Journey quest. It's 40 minutes and then check, and then it's half an hour per branch. And I need 12 branches. So it's six, so it's gonna be 10 hours. Why don't we start recipe for disaster? Dude, I love the carcinogen aspect of just making a, a really, really dirty fruit blast with ashes in it. Why not? Talk to the cook. This should be like a sub 20 second quest point, I think. Because this doesn't count as quest time. When the cook's just expositioning, bang. <laughs> that was definitely sub 15 seconds. Easiest quest point in the game. Big day. That does not give me the bank. Okay, the next one we're going to do will give me the bank though. Because we're now going to do um, freeing the goblin generals. This cutscene has not been updated. Wait, did I blow up the cook? Oh god! Wait, he's alive! The imprint is crazy. And that is freeing the goblin generals. Quest complete. Nice! Got a farming level. Most importantly though, 25 cooking. Bang! That is 43 divination coming in. Two more levels, so probably tomorrow. We'll be able to do caches and not be miserable. Awesome stuff. So this is the Demon Slayer, but in RuneScape 3, it was redone. To be fair, I do think the remake is better, but I kind of... Do you keep the nostalgic thing from years past that people remember? Or do you make it better for a new player? This is definitely a better quest for a new player, without a doubt. I definitely miss the OG one. Like, if I ever play old school at some point, I'm going to really enjoy doing the classic Demon Slayer. Bro, what? <laughs> Demon Slayer quest complete. Now on 109 quest points. And that is the Golem quest complete. 110 quest points. Hey, look, my willow tree is slowly growing. All right, Shadow of the Storm, let's get it. And that is the Shadow of the Storm quest complete. We got a Dark Light, which we will need for some other quests later on. And most importantly, 10,000 combat XP lamp. I kind of want 53 magic, but I feel like the most valuable skill to put 10k XP into right now would be ranged. So let's do it. And you know what? I'll take eight range levels. That's not bad. It's a rec for big chompy bird hunting and animal magnetism too. Uh, next quest that we need to do is... It is recipe for disaster freeing Evil Dave. Drop the cat. So I just repeat this. Uh, this is how you get a Hellcat, by the way. And I think the Hellcat's OP, right? Because it has a better... Um... Oh, it, just, it never gets overgrown, right? Hey, look, I got a Hellcat. Pretty cool. That is freeing Evil Dave. Mini quest complete. 7,000 cooking XP is actually not bad. Six cooking levels is not nothing. And that is actually the 30 cooking requirement that we needed for Beneath Curse Tide. So that's exactly why we did it. This is actually a really cool quest. For anyone that's watching that's an old school player, it has a good amount of requirements as well. Like 30 and all these skills, kind of big. But basically, it takes you to Tutorial Island. It's what Tutorial Island is today. This is a tutorial island because y'all wouldn't stop using those plastic straws and saying, you know what? The environment isn't a big deal. And now look what you've done. Tutorial island is now entirely underwater. We're boiling shrimp. Delectable. Okay, yeah, this is wild. Empty your mind. Focus only on the sensory information you're receiving and the blade in your hand. I don't think I'd want to do this blindfolded, to be honest. And they're all dead. Okay. That is not my favorite quest in the game, but it is extremely rewarding because we can now, once we get out of the dialogue, that is the Beneath Cursed Tides quest complete, but it does unlock the monthly D&D Giant Oyster and we got it in before monthly reset, which is kind of nice. Also, a 10k XP lamp. 
is kind of sick. I don't know why Herblore works for this, but I'm I'm absolutely doing that. Oh, you know, nine Herblore levels. This is really funny to me because this at the end game is insanely good farming XP, but it clearly does not scale linearly. The XP drop on this quest is going to be ridiculous. It is going to feed families. Yeah, this is more than double my Herblor XP. Okay, wait, 20k agility and cooking too? Okay, yeah, that's unreal. So this quest gives us a bunch of things. So first off, XP wise, bang, three magic levels, bang, seven Herblor levels, bang, three agility levels, and a 46. We can actually almost do the Regicide quest. And then bang, six cooking levels. So first off, that's insane. The other thing that's really cool is we can now barehanded catch rats downstairs here for spice and spicy stews will now boost me by plus six levels. So basically any level we need for a potion, like overloads usually require level 96. We can make them from level 90 now that we've done this quest. I love that none of the unlocks there are remotely useful, but that's, that's wild magic. I lied, dude, we got wild magic. I'm so stoked. Lumbridge Sage. I have a cake of guidance. Thank you for the quest points. In RuneScape 3, there's a PVM hub called War's Retreat that has boss portals that can be attuned to almost every boss in the game. But there's one rule. You need at least one kill count at a boss to use its respective portal. I want to get started on the vampire quest line today, but it's really annoying to get to Berg de Rot. So why don't we start things off by completing one singular Barrow's run, which is going to then unlock the portal. And then all of a sudden, I will have an infinite easy teleport to get me right where I need to go. I actually might not be able to do a Barrow's run with this amount of food and stuff, so we'll see what happens, all right? If this goes poorly, I will teleport out. So the only one we need to be really careful of is, in my opinion, Darok, because I don't actually have melee prey. I'm so scared. Darok is in motion? Hold. Get stunned, idiot! Okay, sick. <laughs> okay, Darok's down. Big day. Oh my god, Aram kind of hurts, though. I mean, I've got Ivan Blast, actually. Ready? Blast! Not bad. Oh yeah, we're PVMing now. Aram's down. I want to do Carol next while I've got prayer, because that kind of makes sense. I don't know, prayer. Oh god. Okay, I am nervous about this. I might just have to stun really, really aggressively here. Just do like a crazy stun rot. Oh god. No, don't die. I think I can get this, hopefully. Okay, I'm now completely out of food, but I do have all the harder brothers done. Okay, I just need a few more life points. I think I'm okay. Let's pop a vamp. Okay, we've got the tunnel. Okay, good. He didn't land a single hit. One thing to be a little careful of is I think they can one-shot me. Kite, blast off, bang. Okay, sweet. Torag's down. <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay. It's gonna be down to the wire, considering we've got no food left, but I think we're gonna be okay here. Blast. Look at the damage, go. Nice. Okay, we're at tunnel. So we've got a Guthan tunnel. I think we can do this. Dude, am I gonna die in here? The skeletons are level 86? As long as Guthan isn't stun immune. Okay, I'm in I'm in getting one shot territory. Oh no. Wait, can I rest for a minute to get some HP back? <laughs> Do you think anyone's ever rested in the Barrow's crypt? Alright, let's pop Aegis. Alright, y'all ready? Let's go. Hey, I got a level! That is 56 magic somehow. I don't know what gave me that level. But, uh, oh, it was casting my, uh, my entangle. That's really funny. <gasps> the cousin teleported! Stop. Stop. Blast. Blast! <laughs> that almost killed me. I literally would've got one shot. If I hadn't blasted him, <laughs> he was gonna blast me. Okay, in three, in two, in one! <laughs> Okay, I mean, all right, maybe editor, we can, we can, we can edit in everything that I would want for a Barrow's chest, right? Just fill up all the slots. Was that the Guthic Staff special animation? Bro, either he's powering me up or he's killing me. Uh, that is Nature Spirit quest complete. Get me some nice lamps, two quest points as well. Not bad at all. Also get the Nature Altar. Love what they've done with the place. I also do think this might be the least used obelisk in the entire game. Do you think anyone has ever like actually made pouches on this? That is also, wait, three levels, 38 crafting, 39 constitution, 33 death, 61 combat. 61 combat's also cool because I can finally get a reaper assignment that isn't Croesus. You need to be above level 60 for that. That is in search of the Myrik done. And I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. 
But if you want to let me know how I'm pronouncing it wrong, I guess we can do that. With the goal of completing Monkey Madness today and looking at my stats, I think it would be a really good idea to get 43 prayer for Protect from Melee, because Monkey Madness is a quest where you take a lot of damage, especially running through the caves. And I think I've cooked up a pretty fun way to do it. There's one really fun boss you can do with magic, even if you're really, really low level, and that's Dagonoth Rex. Because he's weak to fire spells and completely safe spottable, as long as I can survive the long run through Water Earth Dungeon, I should be able to get myself some kills. Every Dagonoth bone I bury is going to give me about 400 prayer experience when offered to the Chaos Altar in the Wilderness, so getting up to level 43 should be light work. And if I'm lucky enough to get a Berserker Ring or a Dragon Hatchet, that's just a bonus. Oh my god. Okay, no, we're fine. We ball. Climb this quickly. We're in, boys! Quickly, go, we ball, and then put it on the fire spells. Throw on the maniacal. This is unironically completely functional. <laughs> and wait, just imagine if I was blasting right now. Hold up, let's blast off. Ready? No, that was surge. Oh, shit. oh god, run, run, run. No, that was the wrong blast off. Eat food. Okay, I wanted to Ivan blast. Ivan blast, dude. I'm doing so much damage right now. It's ridiculous. Any drops? 2,000 XP? Okay, Pog? If I did 37 kills, I'd get 60 magic. I don't think I'm gonna do 37 kills, but that's kind of superb. That is 57 magic. Nothing on the loot front, unfortunately. Okay, we can buy the hub teleport. So now, instead of having to go to the Halloween hub, I can go to the PBM hub. Very cool. Ooh, Wait, that is insanely good for Pup. Yes. How do you feel about a tier 45 Power Gear Rock Shell Plate Body? Oh, can't wear it yet, but that's pretty sick. Wait, because your defense is too low? Yeah, I need to get my defense up. Fair enough. Well, you may want to get on that. I'm that's doing cool. my last kill now. But yeah, no, Rock Shell Plate. Oh. The gear here is actually insane. Like, imagine if I get a circle too for, uh, for Yoved. That would be cool. All I really wanted was 43 prayer. So we're actually going to teleport directly from here into the deep wilderness. And we're going to go to the Chaos Altar, offer up these bones. We're good to go. That is also 43 constitution and 58 magic. This place is, is good. Alrighty. It's time to get 43 prayer, unless I'm bad at math. If I'm bad at math, I'm going to cry. Now we're good. We got it. And that is 43 prayer. We can finally protect from melee attacks. That's the last prayer level we need for a while, basically until we go for 75 in Prif. So, and now it's time to quest. That's one. That's two. I don't think I get six. That's three. That's four. Please tell me there are two more. That's five. Okay, so after um, eight hours, we can actually do the quest. This is big. Yeah, so whenever Pup finishes the quest, we're, we're doing Shades of Morton together. So I gotta, I gotta get in here. It says, in the event the client doesn't load the interface properly, you will need an additional 10 logs and to start again. But how is that my fault? I'm trying to proceed with pace. Oh my God, and these trees are fake too. I can't even cut them. Oh my God. This is insane. Look at how precariously perched I am. Awesome. That is the Enlightened Journey quest complete, and we got it done in under nine hours. What a huge day. We got four levels from that. 40 crafting, 40 farming, 33 woodcutting, 34 farm making. Pup is also telling me that he's got bad news, so let's figure out what that is. Hey, Ryan, what's up? How are you what's, doing? What's the bad news? I may have slightly died. What? Wait, how? We have a magic log obtainer. Yes. How? Okay, not gonna lie, it was the most uninteresting death ever. It was a brain off moment. Oh. oh area for him. I'm dying Damn. to this boy. Now some other guy. Oh, I died, GG. Oh, unlucky. What am I doing? Magic logs? Oh no, like oh, actually. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way Pup died to Dad. There's no way he died to a quest boss. That is a rough one, and I am once again very thankful that this is not a hardcore group. For Pup's magic log forfeit, he's headed to the King Black Dragon, this time in a solo. KBD has an uncommon drop of 10 magic logs, so he's gonna need to hit the loot table twice to free himself of his forfeit. RIP my druid pouch, also known as the Ghast Blaster. Alright, congrats, we made it to Morton. Thanks, father. You gotta rate your Uber. Uh. 
like a four. If you want to do the Shades of Morton quest, it's a lot easier to do this on World 88 because there are an absolute ton of people that will always be upkeeping the minigame. Especially now with Group Iron Man out, it's very, very busy. But considering we're a competitive group, even though competitive group irons can just do the minigame with others, I wanted to see if we could all do it together and actually complete the minigame and complete the quest with no outside help. So for that, I put out the call and I got the help from Legos, Pup, and Yo Man, and we're all going to try to do this together. And hang on, hang on. Stay right <laughs> I there. hate it Stay here. Right there. Doing a quest here together was a terrible decision. Kill shades or repair the temple to increase your sanctity. Reach 100% and at least 20 sanctity. All right, let's do it. This is like the zombie apocalypse is happening. How are we doing over here, team? Building. Just have like let's... two or three repairs and a killer. What happens when that dummy dies, though? Don't know. Just Magnum Tempest, bro. Oh, I'm ready. Bang! Oh, bang! All right, the walls are coming up, team. Oh no, your dummy is gonna die, and then we're gonna be in a really bad spot. Like oh god, the dummy died. Oh sh! Oh no, look at him uh, all. Oh no, oh no. Guys? I believe. You guys, have, you guys have got it, I believe. I don't know that I've got it. I believe. Oh, the quake! Oh my gosh. Let's go, puppy! I'm down to 400 life points. I gotta run out. I gotta back out. I gotta back out. Are we gonna have another magic log obtainer? Almost. <laughs> Dude, I have food if you need. <laughs> You have food? It was build, cool. just, build. Build. just build, just build, just build, just build. We're gonna get it. <laughs> We're building as fast as we can. No wonder I was doing no damage. They've drained my strength to one. Oh, no. That would do it. Thank thanks, guys. Let's see if that's enough to get us progress. Okay, we're at 90. Yeah, okay, so that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. That's good enough. Oh, that one on the like... inside is doing bad. I think we're gonna get it to 95 I mean, in a second. I gonna die soon. 95? 95? Oh no, we're being overrun! The dummy died! Oh, it's so close, dude! Okay, it's all repaired now. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, all repaired. Yeah. Light like, the I fire! It's honored. Light! There we go. Light it, light it, light it! Okay, nice. old oil. The oil on it. Into the fire! We've got the secret oil. Now what? Yep. Wait, that's worth three quest points? Kind of worth it, to be honest. Thanks for inviting. I mean, I mean, it, it, it was fun, yeah. The Canadian saying thanks for inviting me. We're literally in a group Iron Man together. <laughs> There's no... There was no option not to invite you. Dude, Monkey Madness, I'm going to get so tilted. But first, we're doing our daily challenges because dailies are good to do. Bro, what do I need to pickpocket? I got it. Okay, nice. And then Divination, which I just got to follow it over. Bang. what I get? I got... Some anima. Most importantly, though, I got 44 divination, 35 thieving, and 21 summoning. Not bad, honestly. We're so close to 1,000 total, too. With 43 prayer and 124 quest points, it's finally time for monkey madness. Kind of a fun runescape tip. Bro, that is obscene. I'm not doing it like that. I'm not doing it like this. Uh, so what you can do is you go settings, graphics, interface scaling, 300%. And then if you can find a way to click on it, regular size slider puzzle. Easy. And then it should be that. Big day. Your boy still got it. <laughs> Wait, am I on a patrol right now? Oh my god, I am. Stand by the bamboo gate and get pelted by poison arrows. Time for the hitless monkey madness run, okay? I've decided I'm not gonna get hit by a single thing this whole quest. What do you think? Poison obviously doesn't count. Back up! <laughs> okay, what I meant was now it's time for the hitless run. Can you, you stupid mother- Oh my God, he acts as a wall. Let me out. Let me out. Easy. Let me in. Big day. Hitless run. I want the penguin though. Hold. This is what Papa do. Pup would wait for surge and then perform a surgical surge this way. Ready? That's exactly what Papa would do. Oh my god. Wait, bro, how the hell do I get in here? Wait, there's a door here. Oh, and I can't reset sure-footed either. Oh, man. Wait, this could be kind of bad, though. All right, big day. Bro, what are they eating down here? We are using Enchanted Bar on the Pillar of Fire. Monkey's big amulet. That's really sweet of her. Could I borrow it? Oh, no. I'm a horrible person. All right, this guy steals from babies. I mean, he's definitely not a baby. He's a child. All right, so we now have a monkey, Grigri. So we're at the point of monkey badness where I just get to be a monkey, which I think is pretty cool. So I'm monkeying around. I, I, I would say so. Odds I can't do this. Oh my God, we're so sick. There is no better feeling 
than when you're three days into a brand new account, having a high enough agility level that you can just do a random agility shortcut you see. On day one and day two, there was no shot. Oh, I'm so ready. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the early 2000s. Okay. Wait, where's the jungle demon? How much damage does he do? 300? I'm about to blast. Wait, I don't have hit chance. Oh no, I maybe shouldn't have given him some free hits. <laughs> Hit him with the Ivan Blast. This, I will say, we're gonna get a Gothic Staff soon. I love the Ivan Staff era of this account. It is by far the most fun special. It just does so much damage. It is time for me to blast you somewhere else. Bang. And that is also 59 magic. Big day. Wait, they just leave me here? That is the Monkey Madness. Quest complete. So now let's go talk to Dario and get some levels. I have, I believe, 110,000 XP that I would like to claim. Several hours later. Dude, I love this little... <laughs> All right, let's see the XP drop. 110k XP. Okay, that's really cool, actually. So we got two strength levels. I'm 47. Three constitution levels. I'm 47. Seven attack levels. 47. And then nine defense levels, I'm now level 43, which actually unlocks me like half of the defense book. I don't know why so many defense abilities are unlocked at specifically this point. But yeah, I now have Reflect, uh, and I'm also about to have Resonance as well. Pretty sick. But there's one other thing I can do now that I've passed 40 defense. I can actually use the XP lamp from completing Dragon Slayer on day one. So I can grab this, another 18k defense. Thank you very much. And I'm now level 46 defense, 69 combat too. Very cool. With Monkey Madness complete, we've now passed 125 quest points, which means we're actually gonna get a tier two magical dice from May and Varrock. This is gonna guarantee me 500,000 gold, which I will happily accept. That is 45 divination. We also got the headwear as well. So I've now got the four piece outfit, far more important than a skilling outfit that just gives a little XP boost. At 45 divination, when we do caches from here on out, instead of competing with all of the plebeian group irons who are brand new and are running around and are spamming crests and are bringing the tiny memories, we can actually grab the regular sized ones. So that is absolutely freaking fantastic. It's time for agility levels. Bang. Wait, we're actually 48 agility already? Uh, genuinely, I feel great about that. I'm now also 59 magic, so we're right on the cusp of reaching level 60. And I think the best way to get it is gonna be to go back to Dagonoth Rex. I'm the highest prayer level in the group right now, so getting some extra Dagonoth bones that I can throw in the group storage for the team seems like a good thing to do. And on top of that, I'm just really excited to boss, and this is pretty much the only one that I can do by myself. So let's get back to Dagonoth Rex and get that level 60 magic. And that is level 60 magic coming in. Absolutely unreal. I'm now level 70 combat. We can say goodbye to the Ivan Staff era, even though I will literally be bringing it with me everywhere because the special attack is awesome. I think it's time for our Guthic Staff era, which is gonna be absolutely sick, by the way. I'm also gonna put these Danganoth bones in because that's actually a lot of XP. That's like 7,000 prayer XP on the Wildy Altar. Someone can use that more than me. I think I'm the highest prayer level in the group, so someone else can take that. Now that I'm 60 magic, it's time to challenge Collodion to a duel. If I win, I'll be a certified battle mage. I'll be able to use the Ceridomen, Guthix, and Zamorak staffs. Man, I'm glad Collodion is not terribly strong. Even in ogre form. Also stunnable. We love a stunnable target. Doesn't he turn into a bear at some point? Bro, there's no way you're about to lose this duel. Whoa, that's a dark beast. That's crazy. Okay, last form is getting Ivan blasted directly in the face. I'm putting prayer on too. I'm pretty sure this is last form. Ready? Bang. Holy, look at the damage. Wait, he's kind of cooking me though. <laughs> Help. Okay, that's a little scary. Seeing the level 84, but we got it. Okay, that is it. Good. I am a worthy battle mage. All right, into the pool. Which cape do we want? Gothic, Zamorak, Sardomen. Is there any difference? If they're all the same, just God Wars 1 aggression? Technically, Sardomen would be the smartest one because I don't have any Sardomen gear. All right, I'm gonna click on Gothic, so we'll play it safe. That is a beautiful Gothic cape, which by the way, 31 magic damage bonus, 33 and a half. So it's almost the same as a kiln cape and you just get it for free. 
Oh, so he does give you a free staff. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think I will buy a Zami staff too. There's no way I don't need one at some point. So let's buy it, spend the 80K, and keep it moving. Even though we've beaten Collodion and we can use the staff, we actually aren't finished yet because we also have to unlock the special attack separately. And this is done by casting Divine Storm, which is an air spell in the Mage Arena a hundred times. This would take a while if I did it with the Guthic Staff, but you can actually just put on dual wields and then auto cast it without using abilities to fly through this in no time. Okay, I have now done my hundred cast of Divine Storm, so I can now use it outside of the Mage Arena, which means I should also be able to use the Guthic Staff special. Oh yeah. That is exactly what we needed. I think the best thing to try out our brand new weapon on is gonna be Cerberus to see if we can kill him a little bit faster than in the last episode where it took us about a half an hour for a single kill. I have a feeling this should be a lot better. So step one is you have to kill this witch. All right, let's try out big guy. In RuneScape 3, your accuracy level is damaged, so if we're able to hit the boss more accurately, that percentage next to the boss's target info is going to go up, and whatever that percentage reads is the percentage of our total damage potential we're dealing. So basically, the higher percentage all the way up to 100, the more damage we're dealing. So whenever that percentage is below 100, accuracy actually translates directly to damage. The Gothic Staff special attack should help out an absolute ton. Actually, a lot better. If it's a five minute kill, is that better than just training Dungeoneering? A five minute kill is like, let's say it's 10 runs an hour, six minute kill. That's 50,000 Dungeoneering tokens an hour. It is also probably easier to once I'm on Maniacal. Like Maniacal will help a bunch. Earlier today, this took 30 minutes. We've taken a 30 minute piece of nonsense down to a five or six minute endeavor. Still an endeavor, definitely a lot. Like we're already at half HP, man. Wait a second. Does he not stat regen? Every time I Guthic Staff, my accuracy goes up. So I just, if I just spam Guthic Staff, my base, no, my base is going up. <laughs> Usually at bosses that doesn't work because bosses have stat regen. So we can, we can literally do this. Yeah, look at my percentage. It's 70% now. On Manny, we can get to like 100%. This is like a four minute kill if I spam my Guthic Staff. All right, see you idiot. 80,000 magic XP. That might be like a, a new good training method for me. Ooh, I'm dying. Don't die. Help. Let's do it one more time. 17 soul runes. Uh, yes, please. Yes, my hit chance right now is 52%. And then I can just G staff it all the way up to like 80. As soon as the group has tier 60s, we could do this. I'm just gonna keep G staffing and keep G staffing. Now it's 60. Yeah, just keep going. 67, 68. 69, oh my god. This isn't necessarily gonna be like how I do all of my training, but for like partial AFK time, it's kinda good. So 70% is the best I can get in terms of hit chance. Unless I repot, which I don't wanna do. What do we get for loot? I got some Chaos Relics. Honestly, I'll take the Elk. It's not bad. Well, that's a pretty big discovery. I now have 20k tokens. So we do this a few more times to get a Bone Crusher. Now that we've reached 125 quest points, completed Monkey Madness, and we've got a brand new staff, we're in a great spot. But next episode, why don't we set our sights on something even better and try to unlock Vanquish, the tier 75 staff that's gonna take us all the way through the mid game and into the end game. With the table set for the next episode, let's recap what everyone else in the group got up to. Yo Man completed the Easy Arty Achievement Diaries, which was required for one of the Journey achievements, and on top of that, he also followed my lead and completed Underground Pass and started training summoning. Huge. Lego spent most of his time being an absolute legend and fishing and cooking literal thousands of trout and salmon for the group while working towards unlocking access to the fishing guild. After Bunny Bop's guideless speedrun of the Broken Home Quest, she also completed the dig site and did some general training of her skills and her monthly D&Ds. Last but not least, Pup also completed Beneath Cursed Tides, unlocking the monthly Oyster D&D event. And also did an absolute ton of dungeoneering before beginning to play through the Troll Quest line, which unfortunately did claim his life, but he also did complete the Troll Stronghold and Troll Romance quests, which give a good chunk of XP. With the recaps out of the way, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like if you did, a comment if you have any feedback on these videos. I also wanted to thank you all so much for 70,000 subscribers. That's a really cool number, and I really appreciate the support. With that said, I'll catch you in a couple days for the next one.